It's okay for mom to be shaking. <laughs> mom is shaking very, very badly. Okay, you want to face me? You don't want to face me? We have gathered together in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to witness the joining together of Jessica Ray and Lester to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessings upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love of God. God created us male and female and gave us marriage so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, throughout all their days. Lester, will you have this woman to be your wife? And will you pledge yourself to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? I do. Good answer. <laughs> <You're wide now. laughs> Jessica Ray, will you have this man to be your husband? And will you pledge yourself to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? I do. Good. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, bless this, this marriage that's about to take place. Fill them with your spirit. Help them feel your love. Show them your grace. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, before we go further, I want to share with you some scripture. Okay, and I want you to listen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, Forgive each other just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Amen. <laughs> you followed your instructions, right? Okay. You're here. We're all here. Okay. okay. We are set. Yes. Y'all look very nice. Beautiful. Exactly. You really do. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Because I'll tell you, and you were telling me this is your first marriage. Okay. Uh, as anyone here who's been married will tell you, or who is married, will tell you, today is the hardest day in your marriage. Right? After today, it's all easy. Right? You see, you, you see what they're doing? They're, they're laughing. You, you know why they're laughing? Because today may be the easiest day in your marriage. Because after today, it gets, ch gets challenging. And, and one of the challenges you'll face are the little things. And I'll tell you, if you remember what I read, when those little things come up, you know, about how important it is to forgive each other, you know, and how important it is to be gentle and kind with one another. But most important of all, if you remember to love one another as you've been loved by God and by one another, then you'll be able to pass through those little problems without any issue at all. So just remember, love one another as you've been loved. Now, if you would, would you, would you pass your flowers onto your beautiful maid of honor? <laughs> and would you face one another and join hands? And Lester, when I ask you this question, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Jessica Ray's eyes. Do you, Lester, now take Jessica Ray to be your wife? And do you promise in the presence of God and before these witnesses 
to be a loving, faithful, and loyal husband to her until death shall separate you by death. I do. Good. Jess Gray, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Lester's eyes. Do you, Jessica Ray, now take Lester to be your husband? And do you promise in the presence of God and before these witnesses to be a loving, faithful, and loyal wife to him until death shall separate you by death? I do. Very good. The rings, please. <laughs> Very good. And Lester, would you put uh, Jessica, Ray's uh, Jessica Ray's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. And Jessica Ray, would you put Lester's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand? Take a deep breath <laughs> and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Let's have a word of prayer together. Eternal God, your love is the source of all good things. Right now we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire the union that's now begun. Grant that Jessica Ray and Lester, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, Grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Since you have now pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounced you to be. Should be a little drum roll. <laughs> Husband and wife, thank you very much. <laughs> that sounded more like horses, but that's okay. <laughs> I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Lester. You may now kiss your wife. <laughs> and please stand and, and come on up here and greet the couple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.